Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Deck Metal video. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Bond of Friendship Super Battle Road stage. Now, the Bond of Friendship category is a very interesting one, and I think overall has some interesting synergies, but is a relatively, yeah, I want to say, expansive enough category that you don't have to use uh, specifically a Bond of Friendship led team. Uh, so your leaders for Bond of Friendship that currently exist in Doki Metal are Tech, Pan, and Tech, Kale, and Khalifla. Not bad in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I think overall pretty interesting units, uh, but nothing crazy as well, especially in the SBR setting. I mean, I think Pan is really solid. Um, but Kale and Khalifla are pretty good. They're not a terrible unit by any means. But uh, none of them scream to me, you know, we are the destroyers of SBR, you know, and, and ESBR. So we don't have to use them. Uh, I thought running a, you know, Earthbred Fighters team might be a bit easier. Largely because we have access to some really, really strong uh, free-to-play units that I really, really wanted to use. So uh, we have, for example, the AGLTN and Chao Tzu, who we obviously are using. Uh, we have the physical Yamcha and Puar, who are obviously also a great unit. We have the physical Krillin. Uh, we also have the uh, physical Goku from the starter campaign. So we got a lot of like friendly kind of free-to-play-ish LR characters um, who I think do well in the setting. Um, a lot of them have very spiked, very good... Um, yeah, how can I say? A lot of them have very spiked, very good starting attack stats. Um, we don't necessarily have a hugely defensive lineup, uh, but our lead, you know, Tech Goku kind of covers that for us to a certain extent. So that's kind of like what we'll do. We'll put Tech Goku in the first start on each rotation, uh, and then basically from there we just kind of go crazy with it. So, um, yeah, it is obviously one of those situations, of course. Um, where I would say the team overall as a whole kind of does its job really well. Um, so Goku acts as kind of like this frontline tank to a certain degree, and then we just have kind of Yamcha and Puar, Tien and Chatsu kind of doing their thing. Um, yeah. So obviously the goal originally was to line up Yamcha and Puar and Tien and Chatsu because the two of them have great synergy together. Uh, not only do they share some decent links, um, you know, with uh, sharing, uh, you know, at least legendary power, sharing the limits, um, shocking speed as well. No, no, they share. Uh, that's really about it. They actually don't share that many links. Um, but the goal was to line them up because they do benefit from each other's passive. Like uh, Tien and Chatsu, they want to have another bond, the friendship category ally in the same turn as them. Uh, you know, Yam Chim Puar, they want to have another joint forces category unit in the same turn as them. So running the two of them together was kind of like the original plan, but then I just kind of like adjusted it to whatever because sometimes you just don't manage to link up your rotations and you're just benefiting from what you're doing at the time. Um, but Yamcha and Puar, you know, as long as they're not facing a Pepe Gals unit, they do a ton of damage uh, regardless, and they are very good. So, you know, that's a really, really fun situation to have. And then, you know, we also have Tien and Chatsu. Uh, who also can do some decent damage, um, but they also, you know, have that ability to seal, uh, they have the ability to stun, uh, so they bring, like, some decent utility to the team alongside their pretty decent damage. Uh, it's the same with Krillin, you know, obviously we're trying to prioritize where we can, the 12 key with Krillin, um, it's an AoE attack, of course, but it's also a stun, so that's really, like, a useful tool to have in our kit. So Krillin, you know, doing some really good work, uh, Goku, you know, physical greatest warrior Goku, fantastic against, uh, you know, fantastic against extreme enemies, uh, does some still decent damage, uh, and also obviously the key support and the attack and defense support that he provides is very, very good. So not losing a lot bringing Goku, not losing a lot bringing Krillin, uh, lots of good utility that we have. You know, we've got stuns, we've got seals. We've got high volume damage, we've got support from Goku. So we have a lot of the mechanisms that we need. 
to kind of make things function uh, pretty well. Uh, you then end up facing this, you know, one enemy in this Broly, uh, in this final phase. Generally speaking, you know, facing one enemy, so how it works in SBR, ESBR, for people who don't know, um, when you face multiple enemies, it's like the health of the boss is split. So they all do like the same damage, or a little bit less. So like, let's say like, a singular boss does like, um, like a 1.2 million super, right? If they split into three bosses, then each of those guys will do like maybe 900 or 950. But then, you know, on top of that, they have lower health each. So you have more chance to be hit by each of them, but you also have more chance to eliminate each of them faster. So it's kind of a catch, like a catch-22 type of thing. Um, where you have to decide if you're better off handling one singular enemy um, who is going to hit harder but you may be able to lock them down a lot more or face multiple enemies where you're not going to be able to lock them down there's more risk of getting hit by a couple of super attacks but you are also at the same time going to be able to eliminate them a lot faster so it's just going to depend on the you know, overall um how you feel how your team lineup and everything feels uh so yeah but that's i mean that's really about it to be honest um look i think uh really for me uh, everything works out really really well um really really happy with like this whole you know functionality and everything and uh, i think the team works out really well i know i really enjoyed the team um I think it was a lot of fun to put together, a bit of like a throwback to the OG Z fighters type of thing. Um, and it worked out pretty well. We we're just missing uh, Piccolo, who I don't think is on the bond of friendship because is he really their friend? No, but you know what I mean. So it was just cool to run a lineup like this um, for me. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It was cool to like use, especially like uh, Yam Chim Puar, you know, units like that. I just think are really, really cool. Um, and a lot of fun to run and you don't get to use them very often in a lot of content because there's no reason to and although they're a lot of fun their teams are generally not great so this is just a cool excuse uh, to kind of like really throw yeah really just enjoy and throw down like everything here but yeah that's I mean that's it for me obviously guys um, if you need help with team building let me know in the comments down below it's always uh, it's always uh, great to see a comment and try to help out but yeah, that is it from me. So I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, as always, take care, stay safe, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.